My name is Katie. I am 18 and I'm about to graduate high school. So I'm a senior. I'm actually graduating on Tuesday is my last day of school. So I'm excited about that. Um, but to give you some just some background on who I am, what I do and um, why I'm speaking here today. So it kind of started a couple years ago when I just made this decision from a really young age that I wanted something really extraordinary for my life. And I looked around at so many adults I saw and a lot of people were just living this life that was either, you know, comfortable and they were, they were okay with it or something that on the other side of the spectrum, they were deeply unsatisfied with the life they were living and they're kind of just going through the motions. So I saw a lot of adults kind of living this uninspired life and from a really young age, I just decided that was not going to be me. I was going to build the life of my dreams, whatever way and shape was possible. So I made that decision and I just for years was journaling and dreaming and writing and thinking about how am I going to make my life extraordinary? How am I going to make my life something to remember, something that I want to wake up to every day? And I got to say, I am still on that journey. I'm still a part of that. But I imagine if you're someone who's a part of Reina's awesome program, you're someone who shares that aspiration to do something amazing with your life. And I think that's a big reason why I'm here is just to share a little bit more of my story. So uh, things kind of got shaken up in my life when something happened really big in my life. So I was running this social media account and feel free to go follow me. It's my name. Katie underscore Dundorf. So if you can want to follow me, please do. But I was running this account basically just to spread positivity, to create a community of people that were embracing a positive lifestyle and one that was really encouraging and inspiring to the entire community. And this was kind of my first ditch effort at me asking myself like, okay, I want to do something big. I want to do something extraordinary. I want to do something inspiring, but I don't know what the heck I want to do yet. I don't know if that means writing a blog, doing a, you know, podcast, writing a book. Like I had no idea exactly what I wanted to do other than the fact that I wanted it to be big, bold, and beautiful. I wanted it to be amazing. And I wanted to embrace a lifestyle that was inspiring and authentic to myself. So that was kind of my first step in that journey was to just create this Instagram and to really use it as a platform to share my ideas, to share who I am, to share the things that I was learning, the questions I'm asking, and to really just start somewhere with this project that I wanted to make, you know, something that I embrace into my daily life. So I ended up also, I don't know if you know who he is, but he is a man named Gary V. And to give you some um, background on who this man is. He is a huge social media presence with about 7.8 million followers on Instagram alone, and he's uh, across all different platforms sharing different advice about how to live a good life, how to um, do well in business. He's just basically like he, he's an entrepreneur, so he started, I think he's the CEO of three different companies, but he also spreads kind of positive messages for people of all ages and you know all backgrounds so super huge personality and he does this thing called tea with gary v so i know a lot of people will do similar things where they'll have people they'll do a live stream and have people come on and basically do ask questions and he'll give feedback and he does that across all streaming platforms so tea with gary v super awesome check it out i believe it's he's doing it almost every day of quarantine so um definitely check it out but i was a huge fan of gary v and i was you know doing this work with my instagram and basically he has this app that allows you to text him and then he will get the message and i just shooted my shot and was like, all right, I'm going to ask Gary V a question. You know, it's, he's never going to get it. I'm never going to be on the show, but I'm going to ask it anyway. So I basically like just threw it out there and texted this man expecting no reply. And I did maybe a couple times. I want to say it was like max of seven times that I texted him. And, ooh, okay. So 
I went ahead, texted this man, and I had this question kind of about how do you, so I'm a person that wants to live a purpose-driven life, and how can you do that when kind of you're deciding between how to build your future in a crazy world that we live in, especially with quarantine and with COVID. So I was asking him specifically for me, I was choosing between a gap year and going to college. And I was just asking for insight about how to build that purposeful life in the midst of all these crazy decisions and this crazy time we live in. So long story short, I got on his show and this totally changed my life. And this is how actually Raina and I met. Um, she ended up sliding in my DMs afterwards and we just connected. And that's what happened for me is that after I went on the show, I blew up. I went from 83 followers to about a thousand plus in maybe five days. So my whole life seemed to change and turn upside down as people were reaching out to me. I had people from all different countries saying they wanted to work for me. They wanted to do, you know, like they wanted to create visuals for me. I'm now working with a guy from Portugal who's a social media kind of brander and he does different visuals um, and images. So my whole life kind of changed and set me on this new path. But I realized that, ooh, <laughs> sorry. So I realized that that was extremely rare for something like that to happen. But a big message I wanted to share with you today is that you can really build the life that you want. And it starts with doing these small things. It starts with just starting. For me, I never would have gotten to the place I am today. And I still have a long way to go, but I never would have gotten on Gary Vee. I never would have, you know, talked to the people I have today. I, I've been featured on a bunch of different podcasts and a bunch of different, you know, experiences that I never would have had had I not just taken the leap of faith to start that Instagram. And I think being a high schooler, a lot of times it can feel like you need to wait to build the life of your dreams. And it can feel like you need to, you know, continue on this linear path. And I think a lot of times we feel like we're on this path where we don't have control of our lives. And I totally get that. Because honestly, I think the education system we're in a lot of times makes us believe that we don't have control over our lives and we're simply going through a system. And I was deeply unsatisfied with that. And again, I imagine if you're here, you want something more than that too. So huge piece of advice is just whatever your passions are, whatever your dreams are, like take that first step in just reaching out into the world and build something, create something, start something because you never know where that might take you. And for me, it's taken me already amazing places and I've been able to connect with so many different people. And it's just amazing what will happen when you just step into your authenticity and you know go out into the world and let your voice be heard. So definitely love that. And I think one last thing I'll share. So I think a lot of times, um, we're dealing with different challenges throughout high school. For me, I dealt with extreme anxiety and a lot of depression as well. And I just wanted to give a final message of kind of hope in that department is that for even people who are dealing with those struggles and whatever it may be, we all have our things that, you know, weigh us down or that are challenging in our life. It's really, really possible to reach out and get help in those departments and to realize that you're not alone there and that you can still even through the midst of anxiety even through the midst of depression you can still build a beautiful life and do that in community with other people bringing your most authentic self so if anyone has questions about that i know i just touched on that briefly but i wanted to include that just in case you have questions or maybe you're in that same boat where you want to do something but your fears, you know, holding you back. So I just wanted to put that in there. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys think and love to hear any questions. Um, being a fellow teenager myself, I know what you guys are going through. And I know what it's like to be your age and to, you know, be in the world that we are living in. So yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Raina, you're muted.
I said, who's got uh, questions or feedback? <laughs> I mean, she was a ridiculously good speaker, right? Like, <laughs> I'm inspired. So if you have any questions for Katie or any feedback of, uh, of what she spoke about, now's your time. That was such an amazing story. Oh my God. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and make my first step in my dream. <laughs> yes, I love it. And also, I just want to also let you guys know that I really delight in being able to support other people who are on their own path. So I'm so serious that. If you guys liked what I said and you want to reach out more, if you want to have another conversation one-on-one, -on -one, if you want to be, you know, whatever you want, I'm also a huge resource as well as Reina is, of course. But feel free if you want to get my contact info from Reina or just go on my Instagram, Katie underscore Dundorf. Like, I'd love to continue the conversation and hear the awesome things that you guys are up to as well. Could you put the Instagram in the chat? Because yeah. I can't really hear you really loud. And it's hard to understand it's my wife. Yeah, I got you. Um, here we go. <laughs> Any other questions or feedback for our girl? All right, Katie, we love you. Thank you so much uh, for sharing your story. Um, Thank you. I love, I love what Katie said about how, you know, just getting started sometimes is the hardest thing. Um, and that, you know, sometimes you can't, can't actually go the full mile, right, if you don't start with the first couple steps. Um, so I just love that her and I met, you know, at the beginning of, uh, of her journey and uh, just so excited to support you and, and watch you continue to explode. Thank you. And I do want to say you guys are so lucky to be learning from and supported by such an awesome mentor. She has so much to tell and so much to give so definitely lean into this opportunity and just fly with it because i know that each and every one of you have something beautiful inside you that the world needs and i don't want you to ever doubt that and know that you are surrounded by one person and i know many people here that are here to support you and really help you become the most authentic beautiful version of you 